Now, how do I find the tangent of negative 210 degrees? Well, the first thing I need to figure out is what quadrant it's in. Now, I can draw that negative 210 is going to go like that. So I know it's in quadrant. I'm going to draw my alpha angle back down to the x-axis every time. I knew it's in quadrant 2. And here's the thing about it. And I would just tell you this. The easiest way to do this, how far is 210 from 180? Ignore the negatives. Technically, the book says add 360 to each side. You get 150. Well, how far is 150 from 180? 30. How far is 210 from 180? 30. I think that way is a lot easier. How far is it from basically 180 as long as you're in quadrant 2 or 3? So here's the thing. Tangent of 30 degrees. Well, my gosh. Tangent of 30 degrees, I know it's square root of 3 over 3, but I'm in quadrant 2. So what is tangent in quadrant 2? Tangent is negative. So therefore, I know I'm going to take the negative answer for the square root of 3 over 3, making the answer just negative square root of 3 over 3. All i got to do is find tangent of that 30 degrees, find out whether it's positive or negative in that quadrant, and there we go. It happens to be negative.